Hey guys, welcome back to Tip Tuesday. This week we're gonna talk about what is so unique to our sport, and those are our bowling shoes. With our bowling shoes, we have the ability to change our soles and our heels. That can be really, really scary. So we're gonna dive into that a little bit more today. All right, guys, so these are the shoes that I choose to compete in. These are my Hammer Signature Shannon O'Keefe shoes. And as you can see on the bottom, there are uh, soles and heels. And what's really cool about these is they're Velcro. So as you can see on the table, I have different uh, soles and heels that I can take these off and put any combo on there to help me with whatever environment that I'm encountering. So it's really cool about these shoes is they come with a guide helping you to determine which sole to use. So these soles are made out of leather. Different grades of leather give you different amounts of slide. So starting with the least amount of slide, it's gonna be a number two, and it's gonna work itself all the way up to a number 10, which is the most amount of slide. So why is the ability to change your sole super important? Because our environment changes depending on where you're bowling and even the time of year it is. There's synthetic approaches and there's many different kinds and they're not the same. And then you also have wood approaches. So the first thing I do when I put my bowling shoes on, no matter where I'm at, even if it's in my same home center every single day, I always check the approach. So I'll walk up and I'll just do a quick little test slide to make sure it feels good. And I will also do that at the foul line. So that leads me to my tip for the day. Today I'm wearing an eight sole on my shoe. And when I test it, it actually feels a little too slippery for me. So I'm gonna go to a six and I'm gonna test it. So the quickest way to do this without spending all that time ripping it off the Velcro of the bottom of your shoe, spending precious practice minutes, is you just take the sole and you just toss it right on the ground and you place your foot on top of it and you just slide. If that still doesn't feel tacky enough, then you just go to the next one and the next one. All right guys, so an added bonus tip for you this week. Don't be deterred from buying a sole that you need to make sure that you can repeat your shots to the best of your ability because it's oversized. I have little feet. So anytime I buy a sole, it's gonna be too big to fit my shoe. And that's just something that I don't wanna have to worry about tripping over the excess part of this sole. So all you really have to do is just place this sole right over the top and then you just cut around it. So now I'm gonna have a number four sole that is just like all of my others, is gonna fit my shoe and give me exactly what I need to make sure that I can repeat my shots to the best of my ability and continue being a champion on the PWBA Tour. I hope that helps. Good luck out there, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>